previously on Selling Machete. Somebody's jamming up Channel 16. We don't know if it's Haiti or something to keep communication down on Channel 16, but it's been like this, like this all night last night, on and off. All day today it's been like this. But Channel 16 is kind of useless. We left Loop Run with our sights set on St. Thomas. It's going to be a three night passage and our longest to date. We're heading a good ways off the coast of the Dominican Republic to be able to catch the right wind angle to be able to sail instead of motor to St. Thomas. The weather is beautiful and we got into the eat, sleep and watch for boat cycle pretty quickly. Our night watch schedule starts with Daniel at the helm at around 7 p.m. until about 2 a.m., then I take over until morning. We try to nap during the day whenever we can, and we sleep outside in the cockpit while the other is on watch. This schedule works for us, and the passage was all smooth sailing until it wasn't anymore. What do you want me to do? Uh, I need to unclip the uh, boat from this. I can probably get it up and clear it. We weren't surprised our davit broke, but of course it happens at night. The metal tubing of our dinghy davit broke apart where it was attached to the boat. Our davits were too low, and how the attachments on our dinghy connects to the davits, it's impossible to lift it any higher. This allowed waves to hit the dinghy, and it was a situation we were never happy about. We plan to have new, taller, and thicker davits built in Grenada anyway. You know this is gonna happen right when it turns dark, dude. Want me to grab another rope? Uh, I'm I heard it, something cracking. I thought it might be that. I thought it was the motor. I thought it was the, um, the da I noticed it was bouncing more than the other one.
Friday, Friday at 5. Friday, 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 Friday,
Upset we were wasting valuable resources and people's time. Upset that we had worried Daniel's parents so much. Upset that our radio had been turned down after being jammed off the coast of Haiti. This was also around the time Starlink was introducing new offshore plans for their service, and so we started turning our internet off while underway. Our passage was smooth with good winds and calm seas. Our sailing path took us pretty offshore. We never saw another boat, so we weren't focusing on our VHF until we saw the plane. There's so much we would have done differently, but like they say, hindsight is always 2020. Daniel's parents were confused on when we were arriving to St. Thomas and when we had left Lupron. Now our sail plan is always written down and we pay $2 a gigabyte to use internet offshore and we check in with them more often. We are so grateful to the U.S. Coast Guard and we could not be prouder to be from the United States. So we pulled into Megan's Bay or Megan's Bay as our first stop in St. Thomas and I filled out the Rome app and it said we were denied entry and so I called and the guy said we got to move our boat and bring it around to Charlotte Amal, Amali or whatever and um, come to his office so. And Daniel's working on the dinghy, trying to get it cranked because we had to drag it for so long from Dominican Republic to St. Thomas. So the battery connector broke, as well as the uh, boat was put on the water, so like the electrons just eat up the positive terminal real bad. But right now, I think I can get it to work on this. I just got to put another uh, ring terminal on these wires going to the positive terminal. I think the dinghy dock is just right over here and we can pull the dinghy to and then we can walk out to like the border patrol which is down there with that burgundy roof building so it's not We checked in at the customs office. They had us fill in some paperwork, looked at our passports, and sent us on our way. They didn't know why we were denied on the Rome app. When we got back to the boat, we lowered our yellow Q flag and raised the USVI's courtesy flag. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind. Time to get fuel. 20. After spending $650 on diesel, they made our way over to St. John to check out the famous beaches, snorkeling, and hiking trails. Turn this way. Turn this way. Oh, oh. Mickey's not wanting to bite you. Oh, what do you want Mickey to bite you? It doesn't get much better than Maho Bay being the view out your bedroom window. What a sight to wake up to. We're leaving Maho Bay and we're heading maybe to Trunk Bay. We're gonna take the dinghy up this way, see what we can find. We're not gonna move the big boat because we need to conserve fuel in case we gotta leave for a tropical storm coming. So. be a nice beautiful beach and the boys will be trying to build something construct something make something oh, look, it's the snake I see him 
can come and see Jessa. I'm just taking a shower. We've been at Trunk Bay all day. The kids are making Father's Day cards. Tomorrow is Father's Day. Daniel is working on his solar panels. Some things came loose when we were underway for the Dominican Republic. We're just hanging out in Maho Bay. What do you want to write? Down? What do you want to write? This far left solar panel on my back side popped out of the channel. Uh, when we were in rough seas and shouldn't have done that, but uh, we did. So I got it back down in the channel now. I'm just tightening everything down. Hopefully it'll stay. I don't know. I'm hoping it didn't bust the channel out. It didn't feel like it did much. It did it all. So. Trying to get a fan on my side of the bed because my wife hogs the one she's got. Mount me one over here. But uh, it's proving to be a little more difficult than what I thought, as are all boat projects. Stalling the old Sirocco. Two. Sirocco two. Okay, yeah, it to do that. Take it back off. And let me go to the page. Then what's the issue? Oh, Mickey, you just landed on my arm. Mick. Woo! I'll read this one first because it does look interesting. I'm sitting on a warm ball. Happy Father's Day. Here's some pizza. Says the bird. <laughs> I love you. You're the best dad I could ever have. Love, Jessa. What about the kids? A picture. Yeah, that picture. Oh, wow. Look at here. Here, Mom. Here, Mom. Daddy. Here. 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 Oh, man. Is that me? Yeah. I got a mahi? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Thank you for bringing us to St. John. I love you. Happy Father's Day. Have the best Father's Day ever. Thank you for bringing us all these places. Love, John. There's me and Amahi again. I love that, John. Thank you. Oh, let me read you, Judy, real quick. Oh, look at the rainbow. Ooh, rainbow. I love you. I hope you have a great Father's Day. I hope you have the best day. Thank you for all that you do for me. I love, I hope you like the day. Love, Juju. Thank you, Juju. I love you. Hello, Jack. Here's Jax. Oh, we got a mahi coming out in the water on a hook. Happy Father's Day. There's the, there's the uh, Coast Guard flying over. No, no, that's huh? not the Coast Guard. That's a plane that has a... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's better. You're the kindest <laughs> dad in the world. Thank you for everything you do. You're the best dad ever. You look ever. like the, uh, the coral and then the jellyfish and then the sea garden and the fish sets. Yeah, and there's me on SP Machete. I'm reeling a fish in. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for watching.